but I'm going to kind of focus again on just like really deep usability. Um, we, we just released last year uh, what we call the fiber paths table. So I just clicked on a cabinet and this is a little tiny little pond network I have in Minnesota. But from this cabinet, what I'm looking at is a tabular view of all of the potential paths of light that pass through this cabinet. So um, you can see that I have start equipment, port numbers, strands, tubes and start strands, as well as end locations, right? And then kind of what I consider an all important trace view. Um, so I've built out my network, I've digitized it, I've spliced it, and now I can go back and utilizing this report, which I can open from any point on the network, so a service location or a cabinet or a splitter or a splice case, whatever, I can see that whole path of light. So here at my central office, here's my OLT OIM port, so this would be like port 61 all the way down to like the various patch panels and the ports to my first stage split. And then my second stage split with my pedestal at the drop. And we've got all this rich information. I've got fiber lengths, again, tube strand counts. And, and this is all filterable and exportable. So um, for instance, if I want to uh, I, imagine as, and I know it happens every day, but somebody's like, oh, "What? what's feeding from port 61 on my OLT, right? Like, how do I know what's fed from that? I can filter by a lot of various attributes or things here. I'm just gonna go to port 61. And I can see that I have 61 potential customers. I can filter them down even further just show me things that ended a service location. Um, and these are the 49 customers that are fed by pond port six or OIM port 61. And it doesn't have to be an OIM port, right? Like that same logic is applicable to um, like your MPLS switching, whatever that looks like. Um, really, really powerful. And this is, this is, at the back end, it's a graph engine, right? Like it's graphing every connection within your network at the same time and presenting all of these variable options. So you can utilize this um, to even do like QA or QC checks. Like I know that a path of light should be ending somewhere, but it's not. Why is that? Where is it actually? You can utilize it to run reports again on like customers or potential customers that you should be selling to. Um, and if you squint really hard and think about like what is Vetro potentially going to be working on in the future, this type of graph enables really powerful outage management. So if you have locations X, Y, and Z, that go down, you can narrow all of the potential spots and provide the most like strand level detail. Like this is probably the strand that's affected. This is probably where it's affected a span length, right? So in my opinion, and I'm, I'm just an outside plant nerd, but in my opinion, that's, that's a, a huge, huge development and, and huge empowerment thing. Um, that we've done for our customers in, in recent memory. And you can open that up again from like points on a network, but you can also open it up from like your fiber, fiber strand. So I have this, this 144 count here. And I just want to look at what's allocated along that path. Here's what's passing through this particular um, cable, right? Again, same, same set of attributes. Uh, re really powerful to view. Um, tube strand, all that, all that fun stuff. Um, I like to pause here because I think this is cool. <laughs> what do you guys think of that?